After the FOB was established, operations began. One group performed sentinel operations. The other did active patrols. There was little communication or coordination between the two groups. Bravo to Alpha. What is your 20? What's your location? <laughs> I think you're in front of us, buddy. The group engaged in patrols did not allow videography, so I had the opportunity to spend a day with a group often called Minutemen. A more accurate term might be Sentinels. Well, a typical day for us in the desert is during the daytime we go out and scout areas, look for the high traffic areas, determine where we're going to set up to try to intercept so we can inform Border Patrol or the Sheriff's Department where the, where the traffic is when we see it. Uh, and then at night we go out and set up. The, so a typical Minuteman day in the desert is uh, walking through the desert most of the day trying to identify where the where the hot trails are and then setting out most of the night trying to identify people coming across the desert so we can inform authorities. So Minuteman days when you go to the desert, really hot in the daytime and sometimes pretty cold at night. We begin the day with a patrol along a BLM road to the southeast of the FOB, highlighted on the map in yellow. The Sentinels were looking for signs of recent illegal activity in the area. Be an excellent spot to throw drugs over the fence. They scouted along the road just inside BLM administered land and very close to I-8. We found something common to the area, a black smuggler's chug used for carrying water. Black primarily because it is more difficult to be seen at night. Bravo team Charlie, do you read this unit? I uh, read it loud and clear. Copy that. Do you have a visual on it? We dismounted to look for signs of illegal activity afoot. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna go down this wash. It's going in your direction. Uh, it's going west from here, so it might meet up with the other wash, the wash you're in. Copy that. Just let us know. Fire. Yeah, well, we can't go any further uh, here anyway. At least with uh, with Charlie, they, he can't go through these some of these washes. So uh, we'll we'll have to do a little. Recon down this wash. It uh, we're we're parallel to the mountain over there, the little peak that we were on. Copy that. The sentinel saw a sidewalk path along the broken fence line. Look at the wash. Yeah, there is a wash. No, I just don't want to bring the vehicles because I want to make it worse. The reason they came here in the first place is because they failed to take their country back from whoever it is that's causing them hardship. They came here. If we fail to remove these people from our country, then we will become exactly like the country that they come from. This is Bravo. The wash is heading to the west. Roger that. Yeah, I thought it would. That's the same wash we were in, what, a couple of weeks ago? Well, we're at the other end of that wash right now, and we are east of you. Uh, Bravo 2 leader, this is Alpha. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything fresh over here. We might as well check this, this uh, wash out a little bit. I don't see anything. I 
Common sense tells me that there's something very wrong here when we let criminals and drug people and illegals with diseases come into our country unchecked and let them come all through our country and actually protect them and use the citizens' tax dollars to support their medical needs or their legal defense. It's unbelievable to me. Bravo team, this is Alpha team. You know, we just don't have any signs of anything over here. I don't even see a rabbit. The illegals already ate them all. Uh, roger that. Okay, we're going to pull out and go back the other way and come over to the fence, and then I think we'll go over to the big one. Advise Alpha that all we've seen is one fresh set of prints, single player. Um, that's about it. Roger that. Okay, why don't we go to the big wash? Unable to locate any fresh sign of illegal activity, the Sentinels decided to go to the big wash, vehicle wash, which had been crossed on the way out from the FOB. Uh, in Arizona, uh, one of the major problems we have is that the uh, once they're, they are here, uh, they work for close to zero wages. Uh, basically we call it slave wages uh, and what that uh, introduces is they uh, they have to defend, de depend on the Arizona government or the federal government for all social uh, services like uh, police protection even housing welfare uh, medical care is a big problem uh, the federal government mandates that the states pick up any emergency services treatment which is exactly where uh, they have to go to get any medical treatment and the federal government does not reimburse and in Tucson which is only about uh, 50 miles from here uh, most of the major medical health care people have left the state uh, because they can't afford the overhead imposed on them by the uh, uh, ad hoc uh, health care system and uh, the estimates are right now I believe that about 1.5 billion dollars a year are spent on the immigration problem, uh, illegal immigration problem here in Arizona alone, and uh, the uh, the migration has been so massive in the past uh, several years uh, that uh, that it's not an Arizona, California, Texas, New Mexico issue anymore. It's a United States issue, and uh, they are have been transported to uh, every state in the Union and are causing the same types of uh, uh, problems uh, nationwide now. Uh, and uh, the real problem is that they are employed by people who don't pay them uh, very well. They don't pay any taxes and uh, many of the employers don't pay any taxes on their labor. So it makes their label, labor extremely profitable.